need you to be my friend. Like, hopefully we can have a professional relationship. Um, but then, yeah, that turned out kind of sour. You know, I brought a client, a legitimate 10 million buyer client to, to one of her listings and thought, you know, this could be a good fit, you know, hopefully we can keep it civil. But as soon as he left, she started shit with me and I'm not taking that. So have you guys ever done a deal together in the real world? No, from where- no, no. Um, I, I obviously, if, you know, she's got a listing or a buyer and if I've got, and if it's the right fit, absolutely fine. I, yeah, I, I, we've not, we've not, and I don't foresee us, us working together in the future. So if I asked you to say three nice things about Jarvis, can you say one, two, or three? Um, I'm sure, I heard she's a good cook. Uh, which is great. Um, that's a that that's she's a good very thing. Good at her job, like she's very successful. She's great. She's she's a successful agent. Yeah. Do you think like that Jarvis brings down Rose? Like, do you have as much of a problem with Rose? Like, is it or is it the two of them together? Like, would Rose be okay? Rose is a different kind of uh person um it doesn't surprise me that they've that that they've paired together at all um but with rose she she it's a very it it was kind of weird that she came to the open line group with rumors about herself and then started saying that other people were saying these rumors about her and it was kind of like well you said that about yourself like that what like why are you trying to start shit with people? And I don't know whether it was her trying to get screen time or what, but that's kind of the underlying, you know, and obviously on the show, you can't talk about the show. So, you know, that kind of is the underlying issue that, you know, she got, like she she kind of meddled in stuff and made stuff up about herself and then blamed other people for doing that when that was not accurate at all. The whole rumor is about like that she kind of slept her way to the top, which is yeah, that rumor. That's why I was just like, what, what are you talking about? Like, you're, what, <laughs> what? Yeah, so it, it, for me, I'm like, good for them. Like they, you know, they got on the show, they did this, they were doing business, good for them. I have no, you know, I have no vendetta against watching seeing them fail I wish them the best like I want them to be really successful good for them but just don't start shit with anyone else because I won't I you're won't. not you're not here for it no what about you know we also saw you get really upset you know and I imagine you know with this whole thing with Kayla and Kayla tried to kiss Tyler three times you know, and the, you know, do you think you overreacted, or do you, and do you think your well, own past that, like, and I do say it on the show, it wasn't a kiss, and then, and then it kind of is is said that it's a kiss. It it was more than that, and you know, my my reaction and my feelings towards that were very um, normal for the actual situation. So that makes sense. I mean. Tyler is married so I mean there is yeah. that so I mean and and for me it's you know yeah I'm not okay with that behavior and and when I'm involved by you do acting that way in front of me I I'm allowed to say that I don't agree with what you're doing like totally yeah when you watch the show back, like, you know, just speaking of Rose, like we see this scene where, you know, it comes out that she kind of grew up like, you know, from nothing and, you know, like her mother's like on drugs. I knew, and she- I knew that of her. Yeah, I knew that of her. Like when we first started working together, like I went to her birthday party. I was friends with her. Like I was trying to bond with everyone separately on, you know, to work out, you know, which connections are, you know, a a real connection um like I do in my life this whole jo- this whole job and industry is about relationships and I'm not about to uh, like just disliking someone for no reason you know we 
went out to brunches. We went, I celebrated her birthday with her. And, and it was when filming started, did she then change the vibe? So that for me, I'm like, okay, no, I, I'm not playing that game. Well, you know what happens when the vibe changes when you start filming? Once the show comes out and everyone knows your name and everyone's stopping you guys, it only gets worse. So whoever's already changed, I imagine it's just going to get worse. Well, I, that's going to be such, so weird. I don't know whether, I, I don't know whether I'm prepared for that. Like, how do you prepare for that? I know that other people, like, people are like, you know, messaging me and stuff, but like, I feel like the coming up to me will be weird, but I don't know. I think it might take a while. I don't think it's going to be, I don't know. I don't know. Am I being? <laughs> I want, again, I watched all eight episodes, so I don't know if it's going to be a while. I think it's going to be pretty instantaneous. I know they're nuts for the show in England, so that's going to be different for me. And production actually, actually said um, that because I'm the English, and I'm like a true Brit. I'm a true Brit. So, Hopefully I'm well received by England. I don't know. I'm myself. I'm, I'm a chick from the north of England and, you know, this is who I am. Um, so they actually said before it airs, after we finish filming, you have to go back to England just because it's not going to be the same after the show comes out. So I did that. I went back in June and I was just like, okay, this is, this feels weird. This feels weird. And then last week I did a huge interview and, and a cover, like I, I think I got the cover, I don't know, of, a, of the Daily Mail UK magazine that has a reach of like 23 million people over there. And I'm just like, uh. <laughs> Everyone's going to be asking you. I mean, it seems like the season ended though with you and Kayla. I mean, you guys had this bump, but it seems like you guys ended kind of on a positive, okay note. Fine. My, honestly, we're fine. Like I, we had our issues, obviously, you know, she wasn't happy, whatever. Like I, I wasn't happy, she wasn't happy and we are fine. Like we're, we, uh, we, we socialize together in a group. Yeah, we don't have much in common as a, as a pair. Like I don't think I would spend, you know, we, we wouldn't organize and go out just me and Kayla, but I see her very often in the office, in social situations, in like I would, happily work with Kayla on a deal if I we have no issues who are you closest to in the office um I'm really close to nearly everyone like I really am Brandy and Lauren are awesome um I you know hang out with them and and their partners we we do sh stuff together Sean I'm close with Tyler Austin Alex Hall Gio is great. Gio's wife, Tiff, is great. Uh, Gio's mum's awesome. Love her. So literally, I get on I get on with everyone apart from Rose and Jarvis. Well, you did introduce us to this game, Snog, Mary, Void, which, yes, we have a different